So hello all of you. This is Vandita Sarda from Actuators Educational Institute and in this video I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to use the actuarial science calculator. So first of all I hope all of you know that there is a list of recommended calculators which are allowed in the examinations. The one we always suggest is FX82 ES Plus. Apart from that you can use FX82 ES, FX82 MS or MS Plus and other calculators which you can find on the respective institute's website. So as you all know it's an upgrade from the basic calculators and it can look a bit overwhelming since you all can see on the screen how many functions and how many buttons there are available on this calculator. So actually this calculator can do a lot of things which you uh, would have done manually earlier and you have to know how to use the calculator efficiently so that you can make full use of this calculator in your examinations. So let's start from the very beginning. First of all you can see that on this calculator we have the on button on the rightmost side. On the right hand side the first button is the on button which you have to press when you switch on your calculator. After that what uh, we know that the AC button which will clear all your data is there in green color on again on the right hand side margin. The delete button is like a backspace button which we use in our phones. We have all the 10 digits on the bottom side and we have many functions etc on the upper side. The basic math operators which means plus minus multiply divide equal to decimal point etc are all present on the bottom side of the calculator as you all can see. After that we can see <coughs> that there is some color coding on the calculator which I have also mentioned over here. There are three colors primarily. Number one is the white color. All the text written in white is what the buttons do uh, without any other settings which means in your basic settings the buttons will do whatever is written in white. Next we have some things written in yellow. Now the, to activate those yellow things for example let's say taking a very simple thing over here on top of the AC button we have off written in yellow. So to activate anything written in yellow color we have to press the shift button which is the first button of your calculator starting from the left. So that shift button activates anything written in yellow. Let's try it out. So first of all I'm pressing shift. So as you can see an S has come on my calculator screen. An S has come on my calculator scene as you all can see. Now after that is activated if I press this AC button then my calculator will switch off. My calculator will switch off. Now this is of course not visible. So let's take another simpler example which will be visible. Uh, let's say I am pressing factorial, the factorial sign. Okay. So I pressed 3 and then I pressed shift and over here as I can see x factorial is given in yellow. So I pressed that button. Alright. This that is about the yellow colored functions. Now coming to the red colored ones. For the red colors as you all can see the alpha button. The alpha button activates everything written in red. So once I press alpha you can see an A has come on my calculator screen. And now let's say if I press this one. A capital A which is written in red gets activated. Okay. So that is about the yellow and red colored things. The shift and the alpha buttons. Next let's come to some basic math operations. Now this calculator is actually uh, something where you can type in long equations. So for example I want to press uh, I want to perform a long calculation. Okay. Just like BODMIS it works on the BODMIS principles please remember. So in case I press a multiplication sign over here it does not mean that the multiplication will be applied on 3 plus 6 minus 4 which is 5. It will be applied only on 4. Alright. So always remember it follows the BODMIS principles. Okay. Let's say this is my equation. I want to solve this. After typing in the entire thing, I don't have to press equal to after everything. 
after typing in the entire equation I press equal to and I get minus 23 okay now next is the answer button the answer button is also very useful in this calculator so for example I say uh, 3 plus 5 and I press equal to 8 now 8 is my answer correct 8 is my answer so now I want to use this 8 somewhere in my next equation so let's see let's say now I press uh, now I start entering my new equation for example 72 divided by 8 I wanted to do 72 divided by 8 first my question wanted me to calculate the figure 8 using the first equation and then it wanted me to use the answer I received in the first equation as an input in the next equation so over here we had a very simple output in the first equation of 8 sometimes when you're working you will have very long let's say there will be five six decimal places or let's say it will be a very complicated number that is tough to remember sometimes and in case you miss out or uh, replace even a single digit your answer will be wrong so what you can do here is use the answer button so now if I press divided by answer the answer button will input whatever my latest answer was so 72 by 8 we know is 9 so as you all can see by using the answer button I got the answer 9 all right now always remember that in this entire process which we uh, discussed right now you cannot press AC in the middle because AC means clearing the entire memory clearing all the calculations which you have performed so let's see again if I take the same thing I'm just taking 8 plus 0 now currently it is stored an answer but if I press AC so right now it has come but if you perform another calculation then don't think that your answer button will keep storing it if you switch it off it may happen that uh, it has taken another thing as answer if you ever press equal to by mistake then automatically your answer will change so that is why avoid pressing the AC button in between your calculations press the AC button once you are done okay now next we have decimal points next we have the decimals and fractions now very funny thing you must have noticed in your calculator in your calculator if you let's say press 1 by 3 you want to calculate 1 by 3 so naturally if you are typing 1 by 3 you want your answer to come in decimals because fraction you are already entering so now if you press equal to it is simply giving you 1 by 3 once I gave this calculator to one of my non-actuarial science friends and they called me up saying your calculator is uh, not correct so I said why because she said that if I'm pressing 1 by 3 it is giving me this output so whenever you uh, put in something like this it will always by default give you output in fraction form how to convert it into decimal form you can see this SD button so if you press this SD button automatically your answer gets converted into decimals now of course it is not practical to press this button every time most of our calculations are done in decimal forms so it is not practical in the next video we will be seeing how to convert our calculator settings such that it will always give us output in decimal form instead of fraction forms for this video our next topic is powers and roots now powers and roots as you all can see over here we have a few buttons if you can follow the cursor the first button is a square root button it is a square root button and in yellow on top of that we have the cube root button which means if we press shift and this button we get a cube root okay then we have the square button and then we have a power button over here as you all can see X power is blank so which means that let's say if I'm pressing 9 and then if I press this button automatically my cursor my calculator cursor has moved to the superscript and now whatever I type will be 
uh, inserted in that superscript itself. So let's say if I want to calculate 9 uh, square, I've already done. So I'm pressing delete. As I said, delete works as a backspace for your calculators. So let's say I want to calculate 9 to the power 4. I press equal to, I'm getting 6561. Okay. So that is the use of this button. Now let's say if you want to calculate a root. If you want to calculate a special root. So as you can see on top of this button, we have it in yellow. So over here, you can decide the power of the root as well as what is inside the root. How to navigate. This is again an important thing to understand in this calculator. How to navigate between different digits, different functions. So first let's say I want to calculate the fourth root of something. Now I have typed four in the root area. I want to move in inside the root so that I can insert my equation or my number whatever. So now you can see for this we have the four main arrows up, down, right and left. So if I press the right arrow or the right navigation button, simply my cursor has moved inside the root. So let's say I want to calculate the fourth root of 16. Since it's an easy answer, we'll be able to tally it. Fourth root of 16, okay, equal to. We know the answer should be 2, which is exactly what is coming over here. Now, if we want to do cube, then we have this button. Square, we have this button. Square root, we have over here. And cube root, we have in yellow. Apart from that, apart from the powers of 2 half and 3 1 third, if you want to use any other power or any other root, then you can make use of this button. You make use of this button normally for power and by pressing shift for roots. Okay. Now one more, <coughs> one more interesting thing that this calculator can do. It is a very very helpful um, button in the calculator especially for actual science students because our calculations are sometimes very lengthy our equations and expressions are sometimes very lengthy so for that we have many elements on the numerator as well as the denominator so it gets difficult for us to use brackets all the time in differentiating the numerator and denominator because any wrong placement of the bracket can lead to our answer being completely different. So for that what we can do is let's say I want to put it in fraction form. For example the Sridharacharya formula. Let's input the Sridharacharya formula. It will help us make many many things clear in this calculator. So I'm making a quadratic equation. 2x square plus 3x minus uh, let's say 4 is equal to 0. Now we can easily apply Sridharacharya on this. What does the Sridharacharya formula say? a is 2, b is 3, c is minus 4. These are the coefficients. Sridharacharya formula is x is equal to minus b plus minus root over b square minus 4ac whole divided by 2a. Right? This is the Sridharacharya formula. Now if I want to insert this, how will I do it? As you all can see, I have a numerator and a denominator. So on the calculator, there is a button to denote anything in the numerator denominator form. It is this button. This button just below the ABS or absolute button is the uh, button for op operating in the fraction mode. Now, as you can see, my cursor is blinking on the numerator right now. So let's start. I want to press minus 3, which is minus B. I'm just writing the equation over here also to match it. <coughs> Okay, so let's type it in now. <coughs> Always remember, at one time you can either only use plus or you can use minus. Unfortunately, so much we haven't uh, upgraded. So let's start with plus. Now I want to insert the root. Now this entire portion, 
this entire portion has to come in our root. So what we will do is we will continue typing until and unless we move outside the root whatever we type will keep on going inside the root itself. So let's start b square minus 4 into 2 into now for the brackets you all can see we have the brackets over here we have minus 4 okay now how to move outside the root even though we don't need it over here but let's just show you an example you press the right arrow the right navigation button so you can see now we have moved out of the root let's just add a zero now we have to move down we have to move down to the denominator so what we can do is we can press the down arrow over here we have to pr type 2 into 2 that's it okay our Sridhar Acharya is ready now we press equal to and we have received our answer now this is as I said in the fractional form to convert it into decimals we can press the SD button right now what do I have to do my next step is so one of my roots is 0 0.8508 let's say okay 0 0.8508 now there will of course be another root which will come when I input the minus sign so how to do that again we will be making use of the navigation buttons our this is a very big advantage that whatever equation we type whatever expression we type it remains on the calculator screen along with the answer so in case there are any errors you can always go and check your equation or your expression and in case you want to make any changes for your next calculation then you can easily alter the expression or equation as well so let's see as soon as I press any of the navigation buttons again my calculator has turned into the expression entering mode so I press the right arrow what do I have to change over here I want to change this plus sign into minus so just like in your phones when you use them you backspace the plus sorry by mistake I pressed it twice you backspace the plus and you enter a minus sign right as easy as that and then you again press equal to so we are getting minus 2.3508 as our solution okay so that is how you use the basic operations in the actual science calculator fx82 es plus thank you all of you